All right, now to housing concerns in Massachusetts. The Bay State expected to run out of room at its shelters in the next two weeks. The governor is now publicly calling for assistance from the federal government, citing the migrant crisis as the largest reason the state will reach that capacity. Jake Holter, live in studio right now with more on what could happen next. Patrick, Governor Healy says the state's emergency housing system has had to expand at an unsustainable rate to keep up with the surge in demand. Healy says there are close to 7,000 families in emergency shelters across Massachusetts, more than double the amount this time last year. That comes out to around 23,000 people. So starting November 1st, all families seeking shelter will be assessed. Those identified as high risk for health or safety reasons will be prioritized, while the rest will be put on a waiting list. In the meantime, Governor Healy announced new state programs to help shelter residents get a job, including a job skills training program, which will connect businesses with those seeking shelter. The goal is to offer new skills while people are waiting for work authorizations. The goal here is to get people who are work um, able working and we certainly know that across industries we have a need employers are very much looking for assistance and, and a workforce here in Massachusetts and that's why I characterize it as a win-win for the state. But Healy also feels the state can't do it all alone. She is requesting federal funding for up to six months of temporary housing assistance and other supports for families including newly arrived immigrants. Live in studio, Jake Coulter, 12 News.